This how-to video is an excerpt from the Northern Brewer University online course Multiple Keg Draft Setup. In this lesson, you'll learn how to use a bottle filler to package carbonated beer from a keg into bottles. See our full catalog of MBU classes at northernbrewer.com university. And if you want to see more videos from Northern Brewer, be sure to like this clip and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It may seem counterintuitive to talk about bottling beer in a kegging class, but with either a double body regulator or a keg system with a manifold, you can use one of your lines to attach directly to a bottle filler, like our last straw bottle filler. The last straw works similar to a bottling wand, but it allows for oxygen-free transfer by purging the bottles with CO2 and filling directly from the keg. One tube or chamber of the bottle filler delivers CO2 into the bottle via the CO2 cylinder. The other tube delivers beer via the pressurized keg. With your beer carbonated exactly how you want it in the keg, you can fill only the number of bottles you need. Maybe you want to share some homebrew with friends or enter a few bottles in competition and leave the rest on tap. Before you use a bottle filler, it's good to understand that CO2 comes out of solution when agitated or disturbed, so we want to minimize any foaming during filling. Here are a few suggestions. First, don't overcarbonate your beer. Carbonating to 2 to 2.5 volumes of CO2 is sufficient. We suggest the low and slow method discussed in our intro to kegging course, where beer is carbonated at a lower PSI for a longer period of time. This is one way to avoid overcarbonating. Carbonating with the quick method will likely lead to excessive foaming issues. Also, be careful not to shake your keg, moving it to your bottling station. Remember, any agitation will allow CO2 to escape from solution and create excessive foam. Second, refer to your specific bottle filler manual for recommended PSI when filling. The last straw comes with a 10-foot serving line, so you can leave your beer at a normal serving pressure, say 8 to 12 PSI. Carbonation stays in solution better at colder temperatures, so make sure your beer is cold, even turning down your temperature to just above freezing ahead of filling. For the same reason, it's good to chill your bottles. If your beer comes into contact with a warm surface, CO2 will come out of solution. If possible, put the bottles somewhere cold the day before, maybe in a bottle tree inside the fridge. If you don't have room for a bunch of bottles or a bottle tree in your fridge, you can also sanitize the bottles in very cold water just prior to filling them. Let the bottles sit for a minute in the cold water to cool. One last tip we know from personal experience, do not depress the CO2 button while filling the bottle. Now let's look at the last straw in action. The last straw comes with easy to follow assembly instructions, so we won't go over that here. We just wanna show you how to use it within the larger system. Your double body regulator will look something like this. The gas line on the left is running to the last straw and it's set to about 15 PSI for purging the bottles with CO2. The gas line on the right is pushing beer from the keg to the last straw. It's recommended to have this set between 8 and 12 PSI. An important note, don't bleed the keg using the keg's pressure valve when adjusting to filling pressure, as this will cause the beer to foam. Before hooking the last straw up to your keg of beer, you want to sanitize. Do this by attaching the bottle filler to a keg of sanitizer. Depress the tip of the bottle filler into a sanitized bucket, pitcher, or pint glass, and run a bit of sanitizer out to sanitize the bottle filler. Once sanitized, move the liquid and gas line connections to your keg of beer. Run the sanitizer out of the line by once again pushing the filler down into a sanitized vessel until you see the sanitizer replaced by beer coming out of the bottle filler. Now you're ready to start filling bottles with carbonated beer. Insert the filler into a sanitized bottle and depress the CO2 push button for two to three seconds to fill or purge the bottle with CO2. This flushes oxygen from the bottle, protecting your beer from oxidation. Once the bottle has been purged of oxygen, depress the bottle filler tip onto the bottom of the bottle. This will allow beer to flow from the filler into the bottle slowly with just a small bit of foam at the top. Fill the bottle until the liquid level comes just to the top lip of the bottle. You might get a bit of foam coming over the side of the bottle. That's okay. Once the bottle is full, lift up the filler tip to stop the flow of beer. Slowly remove the last straw. This slight displacement of liquid will bring the beer level down a bit and leave the perfect amount of headspace before capping. Now cap the filled bottle with a sanitized cap and repeat for as many bottles as desired. Pro tip, 
have a few extra caps than you think you need in sanitizer in case one gets miscrimped or falls on the floor during bottling. If you have experience bottling beer, you know it can be a messy process. Who hasn't knocked over a filled bottle before it's capped? For that reason, don't attempt to use the last straw or any brand of bottle filler on your precious 12% barley wine or a barrel-aged stout you've been saving until you're comfortable with the process. In addition, understand you're filling beer under pressure, so it might take a few attempts to dial in the correct pressure and technique for purging your CO2 and depressing the wand to dispense beer. One thing you never want to do is accidentally blast the bottle with CO2 in the middle of filling it. This will definitely result in a foamy eruption. We recommend using a small tote to catch any overflow. Finally, the filler's handle doubles as a hook to hang it on a bucket between bottle fills. If you've ever filled bottles with a bottle wand and had nowhere to put it between bottles, you know that this feature is very handy. Again, Filling bottles using the last straw or another bottle filler is useful for packaging up a few beers to enter in competition, for taking to a party or event, or for giving as gifts. However, this isn't a great option for beers you plan to store for a long time. If it's longevity you're looking for, we suggest you consider bottle conditioning your beer with a bit of priming sugar and maybe some additional yeast, but that's a lesson for another class. Again, this video lesson is part of our Northern Brewer University online course on advanced kegging techniques and draft setups. Get more information on this course and many other classes at northernbrewer.com university. The link is also in the video description below.